three songs. All right, I don't listen to songs really all that much, but the one song I've been really obsessed with almost a year is the Queen of the Night aria from the Magic Flute, Mozart. That's the crazy one. But it's like five notes higher. But it's wonderful, I love it. It's so insane. And it's just so happy and lovely and beautiful and it's all about murder and killing and death. The mother's telling her daughter to kill the king of the underworld. Just, you know, no big deal. So I love it, I just love it. And I listen to Lucia Pop sing that. Uh, her version is beautiful. <laughs> There's something about the way she does it that I really enjoy, where I think she's kind of straight in a way, and it's just a pure thing that she has, and that the notes themselves are sort of ridiculous. They're so precise, you know, and they're this, just the most obvious major chord, arpeggio, on and on and on, which is sort of, can be just boring, but then her approach to the note is just like a knife, you know, and I really like hearing her sing that way. Listening to that aria, there's something really perfect about it, and that always just surprises me because I don't think anything is perfect, but there's something so perfect about it, and I think that's what just fascinates me. It's my opinion, of course, that there's a perfection, but it's so rare that I feel like that's true. And it's so strange because it's just like major and it's like. Uh, it's kind of obvious in a funny way. Maybe that's why I like it. There's so much energy in it, and it just like propels right up into space, and like the notes are so sharp and so clear and so crazy that it's just like riding a wave of insanity but it's so just cheerful so I love it I guess it's got this like manic beauty and ugliness mixed together that I really like because I like things that aren't clear one way or another you know it's sad it's not sad it's funny it's not funny it's tragic it's hilarious so there's that appeals to me in a big way I'm very interested in something that's hard to define. And I mean, even an extreme song about murder, if it's on the right day, that might be funny too, you know. I think it's also a song that is so totally feminine in a funny way because the voice is so clear and perfect and high and sort of just so like it's very delicate in a lot of ways and it's also just like really not and to me these are both attributes of femininity you know and I think a lot of people will say you know there's this feminine quality to it and yeah there is and there's also another side of femininity which you better watch out it's not dainty, it's not pretty. It's gonna kill you, motherfucker. <laughs>